everyone and welcome back to another story time video and today i am going to talk about my dungeons and dragons experience and well all my experiences with it basically so i first off want to mention that this was mainly during uh covid and 2020 that i played this because Ever since then, you know, uh, relationship ended, I left that job to go back to school, and so there's the relationship tie that ended, as well as the job tie that ended, and uh, just people kind of didn't show up anymore uh, after 2020, and so... Uh, and I mainly played, uh, 3.5, so third, or 3.5 edition of, um, D&D, &D. and I really, really enjoyed, uh, that, uh, just being able to build your character, just like, um, Morrowind, or the Elder Scrolls Moro or three Morrowind and the Elder Scrolls two Daggerfall allow you to really build your character that way. Uh, well, in that sense, it it definitely reminds me of uh, D and D, and I uh, had a lot of fun uh, being able to uh, communicate with people, being part of battles. Um, uh, just rolling dice, shiny math rocks, as I call them. Because really, that's what they are, just shiny math rocks. And, uh, just having these crazy, insane weapons that you can find and that your characters start out with, as well as gaunting, like, I, uh, had one character that had a katana one time, and that was so awesome. And, you know, I would love to find another group at some point, but with everything that I have going on, I just don't know. Like, because D&D &D did take a lot of time, whether it be trying to build your character up to roleplay, or just everything, and it 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 was a bit frustrating to me at times because there was somebody who I felt like from our DM would get unfairly good treatment in the sense that well well he had the most knowledge and uh, he would she would basically not read anything, not study anything. And she would basically, like, benefit from him. Like, like he, he would basically do it for her. And... And I get that there's being nice, but... He never... Uh, He never offered to build me a character, at least not that I remember, especially when I didn't read my books, and, and, and I bought a lot of the books, too. So, I mean, I mean, she could have just borrowed some books, but there was one time where, trying to change gears to a more positive thing, we uh, one time had uh, dinosaurs pop up in our campaign, and it was... A, a terrific uh, campaign that we unfortunately never got to finish. Uh, and uh, my character's name, as you can imagine, uh, well, well, my character's name was Max Payne, and uh, his deity was uh, Man Bear Pig. And I still have that character sheet, uh, as well as some others that I built uh, for future campaigns. Because back then, 
at my job, it was kind of slow to the point where I could kind of build characters at work while I was actively working. Uh, it, 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 at least during the downtimes, uh, but that's before I started uh, my career and all that stuff. So, uh, nowadays, I'd kind of be lucky to even pick up a book and read it. Well, well, I, well, I shouldn't say that, but you know, just be able to start rolling up stats like your strength and perception and all that stuff. But yeah, I mean, I uh, yeah, I played a bit of D and D, but three point five. Well, third edition mainly three point five. That's what um, I played, and I think that. I don't remember what we had planned for the campaign or, or what we were going to play after uh, we got through with the campaign that we were on. But I do remember that we had something fun uh, for that uh, next campaign. But, uh... Yeah, unfortunately, it never got to see the light of day, and I really should have taken more notes in terms of, uh, like, certain encounters or certain stuff uh, that happened. Uh, I was not the one that took notes uh, week to week, because we, we met once a week on uh, Sunday afternoons and Sunday evenings. Well, Sunday afternoons that would turn into Sunday evenings. Uh, and we would play for like four or five hours at a time. Um, and that was really fun. Um, really, really fun. And I do, I do miss those days. I do miss those days. Um, but yeah. So that's kind of my experience playing some, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I can definitely role play. Uh, and as as a little side note, there's one day I would love to play uh, through all of the Elder Scrolls games for you guys. By the way, it's just that I have only played through Morrowind, and I would love to start with Arena and work my way to Daggerfall, and then the the three D games, and you know, of course, Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim. I'm currently trying to play through Daggerfall, uh, but I haven't touched Arena, which shouldn't be a surprise. I mean, there's quite a few people that haven't touched uh, Arena, but I have not touched Oblivion or Skyrim, despite uh, the fact that I own two copies of Skyrim on Steam. So, uh, I mean, that might surprise some of you that I haven't touched Oblivion or Skyrim. Um, but yeah, it's it, it's just a fact that I've only play, er, completed Morrowind, and I've only played Daggerfall and Morrowind before. But, uh, yeah. And see us, guys! I do believe that that will do it. For this storytime video and select storytime video, I will see you later. Goodbye, guys. Thank you all for watching.